Welcome to a Quest for Metal, Babyface Questy here, and today we're doing a response video. The response is to Metal Thrall's amazing channel, which I'll put down below, and Necrotic Nick, one of the main dudes over there at the Thrall's, he did a video entitled 10 Terrible Songs from, you know, Amazing Albums, and we did a response to that because that's a great idea, and I loved uh, going through that video because some, some of the pigs were pretty goddamn spicy. And I think some of mine will be as well, so all in the name of fun, I want you guys to play along at home, pop your own down below. What are some amazing albums, albums you hold in high regard, that just have one song which you just kind of scratch your head and, and say to yourself, why the fuck is that on this album? This doesn't fit. This is shit. I goddamn hate it. So let me know down below what songs make you just scratch your head. And we're going to do ten of mine, so let's go. This is... 10 terrible songs on albums that we love. Amazing albums. Starting off, my list. Uh, I've got it all here, so I, I don't have to fucking remember anything. Um, number 10 is going to trigger people off already. This is going to trigger people off straight away. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm calling it terrible. Um, yeah, Black Sabbath. Um, Paranoid, the album. Now, I love Paranoid. It's overplayed. But I enjoy the song. You know, War Pigs, fantastic fucking song. All the songs on here, even the overplayed ones, really good. But there's one song which stands out, which is an overplayed one, which I've never liked. And that is Iron Man. I know. Never liked it. From the, the creepy opening, just to the simple riffs, and just... <laughs> the, the song as a whole, I always scratch my head when it comes on the radio. I'm always like, out of all the songs, you pick that. I think this is a terrible song. I don't think it's a very good song. Black Sabbath has so many good songs. This isn't one of them. They could have picked anything. You know, pick pick literally anything from the album over this one. I am Iron Man. Dun, 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 dun. It's like that the whole way through, and it's just Oh, I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I've never liked it. This is going to be the spiciest, probably, opinion on the list. We're kicking off straight away in spiciest opinion. I've never liked the song. Um, I think it, it's easily the worst on the album. The album as a whole would be amazing, 10 out of 10, if this song was not on it. In my opinion. In in my opinion, alright? <laughs> I can see the commenters already. My uh, Black Sabbath ranking was already the most disliked, and now this is going to get some more spicy ones. Okay, so next up is one that I actually really enjoy. It's a weird one. So I'm going to go with Cradle of Filth. So we're going to go with Cradle of Filth, Phonography. One of my favourite Cradle albums, and I know it gets a lot of shit, but I love it. I love pretty much all the songs on here, including this one. But it's a terrible song. It doesn't really fit with the rest of the songs, and it just kind of feels out of place. And you know what it is? Higher and higher, Temptation. I love this song. I think it's fun. It's rambunctious, it's just upbeat, but it doesn't fit on the album. Like, it does not fit on the album at all. It sounds well out of place. Disco cover on a, you know, symphonic black metal album doesn't really work too well. Because you've got shit like Under Huntress Moon, you know, Tonight in Flames, Dirge Inferno. Holy crap, these are some pretty intense songs. Then you have Temptation, which is a little dancey number. Um, yeah, I enjoy it a lot. This is the one song on the entire list where I can say, I enjoy this song a lot, but it does not fit on the album. So I think it's a terrible song. It shouldn't be on the album. But as its own song, it's pretty fun. I'm not going to bash it too much. I'd rather listen to this than Iron Man, so <laughs> let's move on. Next up from Sacred Heart by Dio, we have Hungry for Heaven. Yes, this song. I've never liked this song, and I really enjoy this album. I think this is an underrated Dio album, but... This song just just sticks out like a sore thumb. It's it's one of the classics as well. It's one of the ones that people say is one of the best in the album, and it just makes me scratch my head and go, "What are you smoking? Cause can I have some? Cause whatever makes this song better, I want it. I want it in my system. This song is too cheesy. It's too happy. It's too gospel. It's too like la 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 la. It's like that kind of song. And I don't want that on a Dio album. I want the more epic, grandiose style songs. It, <sighs> I don't know why this is... This is like the Iron Man comparison. Don't understand why people love this song. 
don't think it fits at all within the context of the album. Look at the fucking awesome dragon on the cover. You go throw this on there, Hungry for Heaven? What is that kind of title? Shit song. Hate it. Get it off this fucking album. Next up, From Hail to England by Man of War. Yeah, Black Arrows. We have Black Arrows, which is an instrumental, and I like some instrumentals. I think they're pretty good. When they're performed well. This is not fucking performed well. It's just a fucking mess. Completely ruins the pace of the album. You've got some amazing songs up until this point. Hit to this song, and it's just this, this fucking like... <laughs> absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. No melody within it. Um, it's them trying to fucking show off, but it doesn't sound good. When you want to show off, it has to sound good. This doesn't. If you want showing off to sound good, listen to Between the Period and Me. Um, this may be blasphemy. Some people will be like, Meh. but listen to Dream Theater. Listen to Hacken, Leprous. Like, th those are some showing off done right. This isn't. This is just a mess. Complete mess. I don't want my Man of War without a... <sighs> First of all, Man of War is the kind of band you want to sing along to, pump your chest to, you know, lift some weights to, go fight a dragon to, go fuck a dragon to. Not when it's uh, instrumental, first of all, and especially not when it's this goddamn chaotic and you don't understand what the fuck is going on, because that's this song. Ruins the flow of the album. Fuck it. Next up, Tool. I'm going to include every single album for Tool, because on all the albums, this is maybe a cheap one, there's some fucking stupid interludes and it ruins the flows of the albums. I always delete the interludes. I goddamn hate them, especially on Anima. Some of those interludes, like he's on the phone to someone, there's a baby crying. Well, I don't want to listen to a baby crying for two minutes. You know, why are they doing that? I know they're trying to troll the fans. They're literally called Tool. So people are walking around with Tool on their shirts. Come on, the, the geniuses. And these songs you know, pretty trolley, I think. They're definitely not worth the time. Definitely the worst songs on every single Tool album. So I'm going to group it all together and say every single fucking interlude by Tool ruins every single album. Take them out. Take them out. And the albums are perfect. With them in, it just ruins the flow. So I never understood this one. Uh, maybe it's a cheating one, putting interludes here, but fuck it. I hate interludes at the best of times. And Tool's ones are the goddamn worst. Halloween now, Keeper of the Seven Keys Part 2. Ready to get triggered some more. I <clears throat> I love part one the best because it's consistent. Part two is inconsistent because of songs like this. And this is easily the worst song on the album and it just ruins the kind of flow because all the other songs are amazing. Eagle Fly Free, come on. Keep It The Seven Keys, come on. Amazing songs. And then you get Rise and Fall. What is that? That is terrible. Like the singing in it is just subpar. The lyrics are awful. The chorus is awful. It, again, ruins the flow of the album. You get some amazing songs and you hit to rise and fall. Eh. The album kind of just loses me at that point. Uh, it gets me back after that, but easily stops the flow of the album. I think Keep It Part 2 is an amazing album, and I think if you took that song out, it would be my favourite Halloween album. Because it's in this album, it's not my favourite, it's my second favourite. So there you go. That's easily a song that's going to make you onto my list, because it would be my favourite album of all time, if not for this fucking song. Systematic Chaos by Dream Theater is next. Prophets of War is the song we're going with. Um, some people say Repentance and it's okay, but um, I kind of grown to enjoy that song. But Prophets of War is another mess. Um, it's not quite as chaotic as Black Arrows by Man of War, but it's, it's still just disjointed. The musicianship is just not as good on this song and the chorus is awful and the lyrics are cringy. All of that mixed together is a cooking pot of disaster. And hell, yeah, this cake tastes like shit. <laughs> you do not want to listen to this. Uh, and the songs on this album are amazing. Forsaken is one of the best ballads they've ever done. Ministry of Lost Souls is one of the best epics they've ever done. In the Presence of Enemies, d d fucking Constant Motion. All these songs are tens. And then you get to this. Like, what? It, this just screeches to a halt. Ruins the flow of the album. Don't like it. Province of War, it's shit. It's fucking shit. Oh, Iron Maiden. Don't like bashing Iron Maiden because they're one of my favourite bands of all time. But Fear of the Dark has Weekend Warrior on. And that just... Come on. Why Why is that on here? I, I can understand, you know, they love football and stuff. And it's a song about football. But it just is a cringe fest. 
uh, just like my channel. Seeing it's a weekend warrior baby, it doesn't sound like Iron Maiden to me. It just sounds like some shitty, you know, stadium rock. That I don't like it at all. Again, the lyrics are bad. Uh, the singing's not too good in it either. And the chorus is just one of the worst choruses Iron Maiden's ever done. Um, that and Angel and the Gambler. But I didn't have as high expectations for that as I did for, you know, Fear the Dark. Because Fear the Dark, come on. It's a great art. That's a great album. But this song just ruins it. Because I don't like all the other songs in it. Wasting Love's a great ballad. Fear the Dark. Afraid to Shoot Strangers. Fear is the Key. Love all these songs. Just Weekend Warrior. Drags the album down. Because I don't care about football. <laughs> and also... I don't care about the chorus at all. It just makes me go, mm, so I skip it every fucking time. Hate this song. So we've got two left. Number two, I do not want to slam this one, but I'm going to put it here. Burzum, Philosophum, you know the song. It's going to be, oh God, Run Dang Um Die, Transcendental Sal, oh, whatever, that song. The really long, the 25 minute song where it's just kind of like ding, ding. Ding, ding. It's like ambient for 25 minutes. It's creepy. Um, I always listen to it. I don't skip this one. I think it's I think it's okay. But come on. Compared to the rest of the album, which are amazing songs, this one stands out. This one stands out as too meandering, too just... Too ambient, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, if you could take this song off the album, would it ruin the album? No, it'd make it better. It'd make it better. The album would then be a 10... Um, it did, this is the, I hate this, because this is the album that got me into black metal. This album is the one that blew open the doors for me to love black metal. So I love this album, and I always play this song, and I don't want to bash it too much, but it is one of the worst on the album. And it doesn't need to be 25 fucking minutes, come on, it doesn't need to be 25 minutes. As an advocate for Funeral Doom and all things long, this one doesn't need to be that long. It, it just doesn't. Um... But yeah, this one pains me to put it here, but I'm going to put it here anyway, because it needs to be said, it, it could probably be removed from the album, and the album would be a 10 out of 10. So last up is one that I've always fucking hated, from one of the most famous albums of all time. We're talking about the Black Album by Metallica, and ooh boy, what's it going to be? It's not the mainstream ones, I'm going to pick Struggle Within. I fucking hate this song, I think it's one of the worst Metallica songs ever written. And it finishes this album, which is annoying because I like the album, the song before it, way better than this one, and I thought that should have ended the album, but it didn't. Struggle Within ended it. It's a struggle to actually get through this song. I always just... Actually, I'm kind of glad that it ends the album, because then I could just stop it at My Friend of Misery, which is a fantastic song. But Struggle Within, there's a weird rhythm to it. The singing I don't like. Um, it just kind of ruins the album. I think the album's great. Even though some of the songs are overplayed, Enter Sandman, Nothing Else Matters, are pretty overplayed, but at least they're good. This one isn't good. So take this one off the end of the album, you got a great album. And those are my picks for 10 terrible songs in amazing albums I love. And I love all these albums. These albums are all fantastic. So no hard feelings to all the albums, but these songs, most of them aside from Temptation, which I still really like, and the Burson one, can get in the bit. Let me know down below what songs you would pick in your favourite albums to just take them out. Let me know down below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.